Good morning, and welcome to the North Central College Athletic Hall of Fame. Joining us this morning are several current members of the Hall of Fame. As I read their names, they will enter the Wentz Concert Hall. Please join me in welcoming, from the class of 2007, Megan Rossi Bremer. From the class of 1981, Matt Campillo. Honorary degree recipient from the class of 2016, Coach Al Carius. From the class of 1994, Brian Fennelly. Coach Pat Gora. From the class of 1990, Megan Allen Gossett. Coach Frank Gramarosa. From the classes of 2011 and 2013, Alyssa Gaudio Gus. From the class of 2008, Adam Johnson. From the class of 2007, Cam Kniss. From the class of 1986, Coach Ed Maffey. From the class of 1964, John Novak. From the class of 2013, Derek Reardon. From the class of 1987, Matt Richards. Special inductee, Dr. Ken Sanders. From the class of 2006, Tyke Spencer. From the class of 1987, Craig Steffen. From the class of 2010, Rachel Seacrest Selfridge. Coach John Thorne. Coach Marcy Thurwachter. From the class of 1981, Bernard Werner. From the class of 2007, Amber Druin White. From the class of 2011, Jake Winder. Coach Tim Winder. From the class of 2009, Ben Ewell. Please join me in a round of applause for our current Hall of Famers. And now, it is my pleasure to introduce this year's class of inductees. As I read their names, they will take the stage for today's ceremony. Please welcome, from the class of 1975, Bob Walker. From the class of 2006, Steve Holden.
from the class of 2008, Maggie Kelly Eckberg. From the class of 2011, Michael Spain. From the class of 2012, Dan Benton. From the class of 2014, Landon Gamble. From the class of 2014, Mary Kate Roan Walsh. Coach Kerry Cluckhone. Special inductee, Heidi Matthews. Please join me in a round of applause for this year's class of Hall of Fame inductees. It is now my pleasure to welcome to the podium from the class of 1986, North Central College Director of Athletics, Mr. Jim Miller. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Uh, good morning and welcome to the 2022 induction ceremony for the North Central College Athletic Hall of Fame. My name is Jim Miller. I'm an athletic director here at North Central and a proud 1986 graduate of the college. I've been a part of the department as a student athlete, a coach, an administrator, a teacher, uh, for the better part of the last 40 years. And it's my honor to host this wonderful event. So thanks, thank you all for coming out. This is great. We are so glad to have you here and to celebrate the accomplishments of these outstanding athletes and the special in individuals. It's been an annual tradition since 2004 to induct the elite of Cardinals in the, into the Athletic Hall of Fame. We were thrilled to revive the tradition last year after a one-year hiatus, inducting one of our largest classes ever. This year, as we celebrate the 50th anniversary of Title IX and the first 100 years of women's athletics at the college, we are proud to induct our largest class of women athletes and inductees. Since the last time we held this ceremony, we have seen student athletes excel at the very highest level of sport, of wrestling, track and field, and triathlon, raised our total to 146 individual and relay national champions, and saw a record 17 teams qualify for NCAA competition in a single academic year last year. Just as impressive is that our players continue to excel academically. After another outstanding semester in the classroom this spring, Cardinal student athletes have now won 792 national academic awards. The role of coaches and faculty mentors has never been more important than the last couple of years. We owe so much to these individuals for their tireless efforts to keep our student athletes motivated, prepared, and confident. That's how we have kept our winning tradition alive during a ch such a challenging time, both in the classroom and on the field of play. Before we introduce our inductees, I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge our student athletes, alumni athletes, and coaches in the audience today. Thank you for your many contributions. We're so grateful. Let's give each one of you a great round of applause. So thank you. It's now my pleasure to introduce Jessica Brown. Jessica joined the college in the fall of 2021 as our Vice President for Student Affairs and Athletics. Under Jessica's leadership, we have been able to resurrect and expand the athletic department's administrative team to better respond to student needs and position each program to thrive long term. Jessica is a former Division I student athlete and a Division III coach and is a vocal champion for our student athletes. Jessica? Thank you, Jim. Good morning to you all. I appreciate you taking the time to join us today. It's always a pleasure to have our Hall of Famers back at home as we recognize another class 
who were truly exceptional figures in the history of Cardinal Athletics with the highest honor. You stand as a living testament to the college's mission and power of sports to enhance the educational experience. In just over a year, I have been thrilled to see so many of our student athletes excel at the highest level of their sport. Already this fall, our women's wrestlers have competed in major junior and senior tournaments around the world. Our women's soccer program is nationally ranked for the first time in its history. And of course, our football team is ranked number one nationally for the second straight regular season. It has been my pleasure to get to know and work alongside Jim Miller as he continues to be innovative and forward thinking on how to provide our student athletes with the best experience, we have expanded and reorganized our department administrative team. He hired the College's Conference of Illinois and Wisconsin's first assistant athletic director for diversity, equity, and inclusion, our very own Brian Johnson, the class of 1995. We promoted James Cluckholm to the Associate AD, where he will continue to manage our internal athletic operations and lead our compliance efforts. We have also promoted Dr. Brittany James to the newly created position, the Assistant Athletic Director for Health Care, and promoted our women's soccer, assistant soccer coach, Kate Perry, to the Athletic Facility and Events Coordinator. We are also proud to welcome a new senior women's administrator, as the head softball coach, Venus Taylor, would lend her expertise to the position. I am excited to see the many ways this group will deliver an elite caliber experience for our student athletes that they will benefit from from a lifetime. As a student athlete and coach and administrator who has benefited from the passage of Title IX, I feel blessed to be a part of the 50th anniversary celebration this year and even more excited to be able to celebrate the 100 years of athletics here at North Central. Last year, we launched a 100 years of women in sport fundraising campaign to start planning for the future of women in sport and to start addressing some of our own equity needs here. I hope you all will support that campaign. We are proud to celebrate these milestones here today by honoring our largest number of women inductees since the Hall of Fame creation in 2004. Our inducting class is represented from eight different sports, reflected on multiple eras of the college's history, and a full remarkable of teammates who took as much pride in their own accomplishments as well as their team. This is the bedrock for championship culture, and it is just one of what makes this athletic department at North Central College so special. Thank you to all of our coaches, faculty, and staff members for teaching our student athletes and setting a great example for them as well as the family and fam friends and family members who have been there to support them along the way. And to our Hall of Fame honorees, thank you and congratulations. You have truly earned your space as the best of the best and have given our current student athletes some very high standards to aspire to. I look forward to meeting more of you all and I hope you have a great homecoming weekend and welcome home. Jim? Thank you, Jessica. The legacy of success we've been fortunate to develop here at North Central is one of the best in Division III, and our competitive record in national championships, 40, is amongst the best in all of collegiate sport. At the heart of that legacy is our commitment to the student athletes and coaches. We all work together to provide necessary facilities, equipment, and transportation while making ourselves available for the equally important duties of academic support, career mentorship, and personal guidance, which reader benefits render benefits far beyond the athletics. Today we come together as a community to celebrate that commitment and the people who best exemplify it. They have done themselves proud and all of us as well. We honor them in hopes they inspire all the Cardinals to come. Before we begin today's induction, we pause to recognize two members of the Athletics Hall of Fame who passed away this year. Jim Callis, class of 1955, was one of the first pillars of North Central's dynasty in men's swimming, winning eight individual conference championships and leading the Cardinals to four team conference titles. Jim received the college's Outstanding Alumni Award in 2000 after retiring as an associate provost in the State University of New York system. 
John Molitor, class of 1960, was a member of North Central's first championship team in men's swimming and our first overall in 1958, then coached the Cardinals to national titles in 1961, 62, and 63, and also coached the first women's swimming team at the college. Please join me in taking a moment to honor Jim and John's lives and their enduring commitment to North Central College and its mission with a moment of silence. Thank you. Now it's time to continue one of the greatest athletic traditions, one of our greatest athletic traditions. I will introduce each of one of our inductees and we'll see a video with their career highlights. I invite you to learn more about the inductees from the Profiles in Your Program. After their video, we will honor each of them on stage with a Hall of Fame medal and the signature red jacket, and they'll each be invited to say a few words. Here to present our awards are Jessica Brown, head softball coach and senior woman administrator, Venus Taylor, and assistant athletic director for diversity, equity, and inclusion, Brian Johnson, again, class of 1995. Okay. Our first honoree is Bob Walker, class of 1975. Bob was a member of the first CCIW championship team in pro baseball program's history, and on May 4, 1974, became the first Cardinal to throw a no-hitter against Wheaton College. Bob was the first of a group that now numbers six North Central student athletes to be selected in the Major League Baseball first year player draft. <laughs> It's my honor to induct Bob Walker to the Athletic Hall of Fame. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Everybody else has uh, iPads and telephones. <laughs> That's right. And some reading glasses. Thank you, Jim, and the selection committee for this special award. It's a great honor. It's a lifetime honor, and I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you to Mary Reynolds and Nancy Jensen for getting me ready, or I hope getting me ready for this. Uh, and congratulations to all the new inductees as well. <clears throat> and a big thank you to my uh, head coach, Mr. Mines, Marv Mines. He was my head coach all four years here. Uh, in fact, his first year uh, as head coach was my first year uh, here at North Central as well. Uh, it was with his support and guidance that actually got me playing baseball past college. Um, I didn't know really much or anything about even, like summer collegiate baseball, and he was able to get me into a couple summer leagues after my sophomore and junior year that uh, I think got me some exposure to some scouts. And, and if it wasn't for uh, Mr. Mines, I would have been working other work uh, sooner than what I did. So I really appreciate him. I tried connecting with him recently. Uh, I haven't talked to him for quite a while, but I mean, if anybody has his phone number, let me know. I'd really like to talk to him. And, uh, and thank them. <clears throat> I grew up in Downers Grove, uh, played uh, Little League and Pony League uh, back then. Uh, organized baseball didn't start till you're nine years old. So uh, 
I played Little League 9 to 12 in Pony League, American Legion, and uh, it was a great experience. Uh, um, pretty totally unlike today, where you're starting probably at four years old with T-ball, uh, you have to be on a travel team by your seven years old, and, uh, and then you're traveling all over uh, Midwest, maybe further, uh, spending a lot of money. Uh, I know I did part of that with my son, and uh, uh, it's quite a bit different. Um, but even back then and now, um, all, of, all of the players, all the kids, we all had really the same kind of dream uh, to, to play your sport, whatever sport that was, as long as you could. And uh, everybody, you know, put as much into it as they could. Um, everybody had a big dream to, you know, go further and further. I was fortunate enough to get, you know, past college and played a few years in the minor leagues, and I really appreciated it. And, uh, um, okay, after, um, after high school, I wanted to stay local for college. Um, I didn't know a lot about North Central other than it was fairly expensive. Uh, but at the, at the time, the state was handing out grant money, and I was able to uh, uh, get it pay a substantial portion with the grant money. Uh, I, other than that, I worked at a store in Downers Grove, Grove Premium, and it's not there anymore, I don't think, but I worked there for, uh, to pay uh, the balance of the bill and uh, have a little spending money. And uh, so I lived, at, I lived at home during college. <clears throat> uh, my, parents, my parents sacrificed a lot um, for me to be able to do the things I I was able to do. My dad coached for a few years when I first started, and uh, they were both great examples of uh, hard work. Um, here at North Central, my uh, classroom grades were average. Uh, 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 most classes, uh, um, uh, in some classes I struggled, in classes maybe I didn't like, in other classes I did okay. But uh, it, it was a great experience, and I really liked it. I liked it. Uh, my social life on campus was, uh, to be honest, kind of minimal, uh, living at home and, and working. Um, but uh, I didn't, and I didn't get very involved in you know the campus activity except for baseball. Sorry to say. Uh, but my first couple years here uh, playing baseball, the team had some uh, upperclassmen that really stood out and 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 names that I remember: <laughs> uh, Bruce Colton and Jim Sporletter. Uh, great guys and uh, great upperclassmen. They they uh, they were good leaders. My first two years here, um, uh, a year after I started, Ken Pelzarski came to North Central, and uh, he was a good friend and a really good shortstop. Uh, my uh, senior year was most memorable. I met my wife Linda in ethics class, uh, an eight o'clock class in the morning. It's like oh, and uh, and um, so. Uh, that was the best part of uh, North Central College. We, uh, we both graduated here, um, myself in uh, 75, Linda in 76. We got married in 1977. Uh, our two daughters graduated from North Central. Uh, one of them's here, Christina, uh, and uh, my other daughter, Diana, she graduated here too. Uh, Christina was a successful salesperson in several big businesses, and now is an at-home mother for two little ones. I think they're here, right? Yeah, or we're here. Um, uh, Diana, my younger daughter, she uh, she recently uh, moved to uh, uh, Tampa, Florida, and uh, welcomed the hurricane there. <laughs> and uh, they just got their electricity back this morning. Um, Diana, Diana is a, a teacher, elementary teacher, uh, I think 10 years now. So uh, my wife, uh, when she graduated, she became a teacher after baseball was over. She taught elementary school about four years, I think. And then we started our, our children. We had three children. My, my son, is, uh, he didn't go to North Central. He, he followed his love of football to North Dakota State. Uh, he was a quarterback there. Um, back in, what, 2004, 5, 6, 7, 8, in that range, somewhere like that. And, uh, and I have no doubt he's going to be inducted into his college hall of fame as well soon. He had that kind of a career. Um, I, uh, when I first 
was told about uh, being uh, inducted into the Hall of Fame, I kind of asked myself, you know, why, why me? I guess why now? But uh, I think it, I think it's, uh, I think it's given me a second chance to become more a part of the, the school here, and uh, I really want to take that opportunity to do that. Um, my, um, so if you see a, if you see an older guy in a red blazer at a Cardinals baseball game in the hot weather. Don't, maybe don't think he's seen Al, just know that he's proud of the school and proud of all the teammates he played with. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Bob. Appreciate that. Our next honoree is Steve Holden, class of 2006. Steve was one of the cornerstones, cornerstones of recent resurgence of our football program and was a senior on the Cardinals' first NCAA playoff team in 2005. Steve was a four-time All-CCW selection, which only three North Central student-athletes have accomplished since. It's my honor to induct Steve Holden to the North Central Athletic Hall of Fame. Morning. Look like a baby in some of them pictures. <laughs> when I first got the call from Jim Miller, let me know I was going to be inducted in this year's class Hall of Fame. I was filled with excitement knowing my name finally came up. But after the conversation, I had time to reflect on some of the reasons why I decided to come here to North Central. I never let Coach Thorne know, but you was one of the main reasons I came. We shared some of the same values. That was family, I'm sorry, that was faith, family, and football. And for me, it was in that order. So with that, I want to first give all honor and praises to God for if it wasn't for him, I won't be standing here today in front of you guys and accepting this prestigious award. I also want to... Uh... Thank you. I also want to express an abundance of gratitude to the committee for their nomination and also congratulate today's inductees and those inducted before us. Now, the very first person I want to thank is my best friend for over 20 years, my number one fan, biggest supporter, yet toughest critic, who also became my unofficial running back coach, my physical therapist throughout my career, and as my beautiful wife, Kamisha. You. you are always the tiniest person in the stadium, but had the loudest and strongest voice. So there was no way for me not to hear you as you yelled at me when I came out the field after I messed up. And that's exactly why Jeff and John didn't fuss at me much, because they knew Com Coach Kamisha was taking care of it. <laughs> In all seriousness, you've been by my side through all ups and downs, through all the injuries, the wins, the losses, and all the celebration and tears. I want to thank you for pushing and motivating me every day, on and off the field, and even when it felt like I couldn't go no more. Uh, it was your perseverance and the relentless energy that you poured into me that kept me wanting to strive to be successful, which helps me become the man that I am today. So I thank you. You are my Hall of Famer, and I love you with all my heart. <laughs> to my kiddos, throughout the years, you guys heard people talk about my accolades and accomplishments with enthusiasm more than I did. From high school football to college football to my professional career, Next time someone brings up the conversation, you can remind them to add Hall of Famer to the list. 
Uh, as we always talk about, never let anything stand in your way when you set your mind to accomplish anything you set to do through life. And keep our motto in mind. Know that all things will not always go as planned or expected, but your hard work will always pay off in the end. And always know, legends are not measured by their losses, but measured by how they respond to them. To my mom, you're the second reason I decided to come to North Central. Growing up, you always made me and the siblings do things that we are always didn't want to do. All the extracurricular activities, going to church and whatever else. Uh, you worked so hard to support us all that it seemed that you didn't have much time to support yourself. So it filled my heart with joy when I started playing football and the games became your extracurricular activity. Um, what she don't know is, I remember how upset she was for my very first game that she missed the whole entire first half, part of the, all this third quarter and majority of the fourth quarter. Uh, she got to the game and my pants was dirty. But what she don't know is I rolled around in the dirt the whole first half just to make it seem like I played in the game. <laughs> but seeing how she wanted to be there for that moment made me want to be on the field even more. And at that moment, I told myself that I'd always be on the field and I started and either played in every game after that. And she kept her promise and came to every home game, rain, sleet, hell or snow. Uh, and when I found out that North Central was only a metro ride away from the city and fan buses was optional for away games, that kind of made my decision a little easier. So I thank you for your resilience and showing us what real family love and hard work looks like. You are a true example of black excellence to me. I want to thank my siblings for always being supportive and always having my back in the times of need. But writing this speech and reflecting back on childhood, I realized we were more competitive than not, from the board games to playing cards or even playing sports. One thing in particular, we all know that I got my speed from my mom's track days, even though my sister Keisha will argue she's faster. To my best friend and brother Gent, no one will ever understand the struggles we went through, but I am grateful that we had each other to go through them with even when you hated me on leg day for pushing you to do a squat to go lower and do more reps. <laughs> Thanks to my teammates for accepting me in the brotherhood and also changing the locker room music from playing Ram Jam's Black Betty seemingly on repeat my freshman year. <laughs> uh, I, I thought this was the worst song ever. But then I ended up adding it to my workout and pregame play playlist when I left North Central because it kept me connected to the team. That just shows how much influence you all had on me. There's no other group of guys and coaches was better to start this new winter tradition with than you all, especially my big old line that was in the trenches with me. Much of my success was because of them. I thank the coaches for being patient with me. I know I was hard to coach, but we figured it out, coach. Uh, special thanks to Coach Lawrence Wayne, uh, you took me under your wing and didn't let me walk away when adversity hit. Me and my family is uh, forever grateful for that. Lastly, I want to thank the North Central as a whole for accepting me in this institutional family. My time and experience here helped mold me into the man that I am today, and that's a better husband, father, son, brother, and friend, and leader. Thanks, everyone, and congratulations again. Congratulations, Steve. Next, I'd like to introduce Maggie Kelly Eckberg, class of 2008. Maggie is the first All-American in the history of the North Central Women's Volleyball Program and led the Cardinals to two of the best season in its history. Maggie remains the Cardinals record holder for kills in a match, season, and a career.
It's my honor to induct Maggie Eckberg into the Athletic Hall of Fame. Oh my, I gotta get these jitters out. <laughs> okay, this is such an honor to stand here before all of you today. Congratulations to my fellow class of inductees, and thank you to all of you who came out here today to support us, to show us some love, especially my friends and family. After the initial panic washed over me that I did in fact have to stand up here and speak in front of you all today, I took a breath, headed to my local church, sat in the chapel, and asked the Lord what he thought I should say today. The answer was clear. Talk to them. Tell them you and I did it together and that they can do it too. As I think back to the start of my college career, it was full of fear. Not because of volleyball, but just college in general. So much self-doubt, so much wondering if I had what it takes. I cried my whole way to my first day on campus, my poor mama in the driver's seat. <laughs> and as I reflected on that further, I began to wonder why the volleyball court was so free of fear for me. And honestly, it was the only area in my life at that time where I was completely detached from its outcome. I was truly dependent on God. I have my parents to thank for that perspective, for raising me with the gift of faith, teaching me values, discipline, priorities, and most importantly, for the sake of this speech, their incredible taste in movies. Chariots of Fire, I had to mention it, <laughs> was a big part of my character development as I grew up. It taught me that when you are gifted at something, as Eric Little, the hero of the story, was gifted at running, you participate in it as an act of love for the creator who bestowed it upon you. This man's story pierced my heart. His and the Endless Michael Jordan highlight tapes I watched as a kid. In Little's final race in the movie, he says, and this is important, I believe God made me for a purpose, but he also made me fast. And when I run, I feel his pleasure. See, we've all been given something that we're talented in. And when we use those gifts, heaven and earth rejoice. So naturally, before every volleyball game, I would run out to the theme song to this movie. As it played in my headphones, I would echo the same words of Eric Little right back to the Lord. I have found that when we do this, when we acknowledge that our gifts are not our own, when we let go of thinking it's all on us to succeed, that's when we live a life on fire. That's when we rise up as a team, and that's when we pile on top of each other at the end of a game because we just won at match point. <laughs> to play for something greater than yourself is powerful, period. <laughs> Thank you. So as I stand here enveloped in a spirit of gratitude, I have a few thank yous I'd like to say. Thank you to North Central for the community fostered here and the support shown to me even after graduation as I underwent chemotherapy only one year later. Thank you to my coaches, my high school coach Kathleen O'Laughlin who infused in me a love of the game. To those who journeyed with me here at the college, Rita Adolfson and Karen Bunkenberg. To Hall of Famer Mia Peretta and her husband Jim, who are a bundle of laughter and motivation. And to Christina Tamman, the person who saw in me what I couldn't see for myself. She got me out of my own way. To Heidi Matthews, a fellow member of this class of inductees, despite all my injuries, and there were many of them, I loved coming to see you. You were a calm in my storm of uncertainty, and to be here with you today on this stage together is incredible. To my friends and teammates, especially the ones here to support me today, 
I could not have done any of this without you, nor could I be standing here probably without you. <laughs> we have been encouraging and lifting each other up for decades, and I am forever grateful. I wish we could all rush together right now in a big huddle and just give a giant bear hug, so we'll do it from a distance. <laughs> to my parents, my mom and dad, my dad who first saw my athleticism and who believed in my potential, my mom for her profound faith and your, your, the tender love that only a mama can give, and for her strength in pushing me to do hard things and not turning that car around despite my initial tears. To my siblings who repeatedly showed up, supported me, and cheered me on, even if they were often distracted studying for their own exams during my games. To my loving husband, Jacob. I would like to, he never actually got to see me play, and I'd like to take this opportunity to say, see, I told you I was good. <laughs> But in all seriousness to you, Jake, <laughs> the qualities that made me a successful athlete are probably some of the same qualities that make me occasionally challenging. <laughs> so I just want to say thank you for loving me, for supporting me all these years. Thank you for modeling that love for our children, Adeline, who's with us here today, Austin and Elijah at home, to our three in heaven and the one on the way. You and our babies are a perfect gift from God in my life. And lastly, to everyone here in this room, you are all gifted. No matter your current season in life, no matter your age, you all have something to contribute to this world. And in the, in the spirit of Chariots of Fire, you are all fast at something. And when you use those gifts, when you run with them for his pleasure, you are destined to set the world ablaze in glory. So in closing, it would mean the world to me if you could repeat after me loud and clear the words from the movie that helped get me here on this stage today. You ready? <laughs> I believe God made me fast and when I run, I feel his pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a room full of Hall of Famers. Thank you and God bless. <laughs> Congratulations, Maggie. Thank you. Next, we recognize the career of Mike Spain, class of 2011. Mike was a member of four national championship teams in men's cross country and track and field, winning three individual national titles and 10 All-American awards. His final race as a collegian at the 2011 Outdoor Track and Field Championship secured a two-point victory for the Cardinals. And I'm going to ad lib and say, when that bell lap hit and you were in sixth place and you found something within to put your head down and be a bulldog as you are and pass everyone to win the national championship for the team, not you. Yeah, you too. It was pretty inspiring. my honor to induct Mike Spain into the Athletic Hall of Fame. Thank you, Jim. I'm honored and humbled to be part of this institution's incredible athletic history. I was lucky enough to have a great high school coach by the name of Jim McNiter, who encouraged me to look at North Central College. 
and coming here was one of the best decisions I've ever made. I'd like to thank my wonderful and supportive parents for helping make that possible. This is the place where I met my beautiful wife, Amanda, who happened to run on the track team as well. Thanks to her, I'm the proud dad of John and Audrey, who uh, happen to have far more energy than I did ever when I was running. This is the place where I met so many incredible friends, where that word doesn't quite do it enough justice. A lot of them are here today, it means so much. As hard as and mean as those guys were to work out and race with, they were equally supportive, loyal, and hilarious. I have so much trust in those men that was built through our failures, hard days, and many successes together. Short story comes to mind when I talk about trusting your teammates. On the trip up to the national cross country meet in 2009, our bus had broke down. We sat on the side of the highway for a couple hours until another bus was able to come and pick us up that was gonna take us to preview the national uh, course that was the day before the race. The trouble was by the time we got there, it was near pitch blackout and we couldn't see the course or the map. But none of us, none of the guys were worried. The details didn't mar matter. All that mattered is that we had each other and the next day we ended up setting two national records and winning the national title. I'm thankful to have had Coaches Al Carius and Frank Ramoroso and many other amazing coaches during my time at North Central College. They created an environment of hard work, positive energy, and selflessness that has helped thousands of men in their lives to become better human beings. My name may be on the wall somewhere in North Central College after this, but North Central is forever etched in my heart. Thank you. Congratulations, Mike. And we're almost at halftime here, so to use a sporting analogy. Uh, our next inductee is Dan Benton, class of 2012. Dan was a member of four national championship teams in men's track and field, closing a career which included two individual national titles in the 400 meter dash and two more in the four by four meter relay. Dan is the CCIW outdoor championship record holder in the 400 and was twice named the CCW Indoor Track Athlete of the Year. It's my honor to induct Dan Benton into the Athletic Hall of Fame. First off, I want to just congratulate everybody, um, the other inductees. You guys are very impressive, and I'm, I'm really honored to be up here with you guys. Mike Spain, of course, I'm extremely honored to be here with you, as he was a part of the same team, same years as me. So it's just wonderful to be up here with him. Um, I also want to thank, I'm really impressed that there's this many current members here. Like, I'm looking at you guys, and you're filling the entire first row. Um, it means a lot that you guys came out here to support. Jake, I told you that <laughs> Thank you for being here. It's good to see you. Jake was also a part of that, that uh, spread of years that I was uh, uh, on the team here. Um, I also want to thank Jim Miller and the athletic program for just putting this event together. Um, and I want to thank just a, just a couple people. Uh, Mike Bina, he was the, the graduate assistant that drew me in here, convinced me to come to this school. Um, he, his, his energy and his drive really really motivated me to, to push myself athletically. And uh, I later on became a graduate assistant as well. So 
he was a model for a lot of, of what I tried to, to do here. Um, Grammy now. Um, thank you guys so much for pushing me and for uh, just giving me a great model of being a father and, and, a, and a husband and a man. Um, my teammates, uh, I would not have been able to be on the national championship team, be in a position to win four by fours or or win 400s without, without guys to train with every day. Um, thank you guys for that. They're very, that was a very special group of guys. Um, my family, who's here today, thank you for being here. My, my very large army of support that comes to everything. It means a lot that you're here today. Um, I just wanted to talk about just a few memories that stuck with me from my time here. Uh, so the, the first one, I have like titles for these memories, uh, is. Winning a national championship as a sprinter does not guarantee that you're the fastest athlete on the day. And what I mean there is um, back in 2011, we had just won the outdoor national championship and uh, myself and my, my four by four team, we, we, felt, we felt we were pretty quick that day, but uh, I remember vividly two of the guys trying to chase down Frank Gramoroso with a water jug. And, uh, and he was off like a shot and could not catch him. Um, so that just reminds me to be humble all the time because just because when you're on the top of your game, you just got to always remember just to, to ground yourself because what could happen with, uh, with the sprinters there, your track or your sprint coach is, is the man. <laughs> um, and then another one I wanted to talk about was, uh, your family is your, your greatest strength. So in 2010, that was the first year I was here. I was a transfer student, and uh, we had a great high of winning the indoor national championship. And uh, we, we celebrated, and, uh, and it was, I remember Mike being a jumping up in the air. He was like 10 feet in the air, just celebrating, getting all excited. And, and in, that, in that high, it was, it, was, it was fantastic to have your family with there cause, because that moment would just meant so much more. And then I also remember that year was, was my lowest at, uh, in ath athletics. I broke my ankle and it, myself, I, I kind of attributed a lot of uh, my value to, to running. So when you break your ankle, what are you? Like, what is your identity? Um, I remember the night of, of breaking it, I had a knock on my door and, and four gentlemen from the team were there and they spent the night there with me and they, uh, it was, uh, Donnie Smith, Tommy Stacy, John Wood, and Steven Stack. I'll never forget that night. They, they just, their, their presence, just being there with me, making me feel like I'm more, I'm more than just a pair of legs that runs. And uh, as a transfer student and as a commuter, it can be hard to feel like you're a part of something because you're always just commuting back and forth. And, uh, it was, it was in that moment that I realized that North Central is my family and they've got my back no matter what, even at my lowest. Um, and then this, the, the last story I wanted to talk about for the last theme is uh, greatness is a product of hard work, discipline, and consistency and to trust the process. And that's something that Alan Graham always talked about was trust in the process. I remember as a graduate assistant, I was up late writing a paper and it was, it was getting late. It was like 4, 4.30 in the morning and I'm at my desk up in Resurrect, or up in, um, up in the stadium, and I hear the door open behind me, and I see Grammy walking in. And I remember him saying, are you just starting or are you finishing your day? And uh, <laughs> so to me, I, I, I think about that a lot when, when I'm, I'm up late working at night or, or when being a father is tough, just like being consistent, putting in the hard work, and trusting the process. Um, because great things come from that. And even more so, trusting the process, I found myself there many nights working on papers, and one of those nights, I had a friend call. It was late, of course. I had a friend call, and he wanted me to pick him up to drive him home because he was out partying. And uh, because I was there working, I was able to meet my wife and, uh, and that night. So, um, and not only that, we got married in 2017 at Coton Chapel. So... Thank you, North Central, for allowing me to do that. Um, I'm truly honored and humbled here today. And just thank you, North Central, for everything you've given me. Thank you.
To be clear, you said you couldn't chase down Grammy? Is that what you said? I, 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 I can't hear on the stage very well. National champion. <laughs> Congratulations, Dan. Our next inductee is Landon Gamble, class of 2014. Landon set a stand, yeah, you can. Landon set a standard for consistency across a four year career for the men's basketball program, setting a new record for games played and finishing as the Cardinals' fourth all time leading scorer. Landon led two of our team, led our teams to two conference championships, two CCIW tournament titles, and the program's first appearance in the national semifinals. It's my honor to induct Landon Gamble into the Athletic Hall of Fame. First, I'd like, like Brian for not making me bend down and put the jacket on, being tall enough. Thank you, sir. Um, thank you everybody for being here today. Um, I want to thank everybody, congratulations to the inductees and Jim Miller and you guys as well for putting this all together. Uh, Mary Reynolds, thank you as well for all the hard work you have done as well to put this together. Um, I know it wasn't easy put, trying to coordinate all this, so thank you very much. Um, i also like to thank uh, my teammates, right? My teammates, my family, my friends, all of you guys. Uh, it's, it's awesome to be able to see you know, some of you guys out here today, as well as Derek Reardon, who I got the chance to play hand in hand with, and you know, dynamic duo, pick and roll, baby. You know, right? <laughs> um, you know, it was great times out there. We did a lot, accomplished a lot of great things. And uh, you know, one of the big things that came out of uh, North Central basketball for me was something that actually Derek's dad, Todd Reardon, taught me. And all the guys I know will know this as well too, but it comes down to mental toughness. And uh, when it comes to that, uh, <laughs> they'll be able to attest that when I first came in as a freshman, I wasn't in the best shape in the world. I wasn't in the best shape in the world. And uh, Todd made sure he put some mental toughness in me and got me where I needed to be. Uh, Nate Riley has a my assistant coach. He has a, made a name for when I get super tired. There was a, a way that I would just be dead tired running. Call it the squirrel run. And, you know, I'd be like huffing and puffing just, just like a squirrel, right? And uh, <laughs> I always remember like, man, you know what? I, I got to get myself together, man. I can't be, keep calling the squirrel run, right? And so, you know, they, they pushed me. They pushed me to a level that I hadn't been pushed before. And uh, I had great teammates that pushed me as well, you know, being on the, doing suicides. And Derek would come next to me like, come on, man, we got this, we got this, we got this, we got it. Because if we didn't do it, we got to keep going until we, until we hit that number. And they weren't very happy with that if we had to re redo it, so thanks, Derek. Uh, <laughs> but uh, when it comes to all the goals, all the accolades that I was uh, able to achieve and able to do, uh, it's, it's good that we were in an age where technology is here, where you can watch it and, you know, there's recordings and things. But there's, there's something that, um, that we can't look on the North Central website to see that, you know, that played into my career and where I, where I am today. Um, and that's the, the people who influenced me, who pay, played a huge role in where I am today. Um, my dad, huge part, huge part. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And actually, I would like to take this opportunity to, if I'm going to name a few names of you guys who stand up. Dad, you're one. Clarence, Donnie, Ruben. Did you guys stand up for me real quick?
these four men right here, these four men, actually, and I, where's Mark? I don't want to forget about where he was in over there. Mark, Mark Gant, he's in the back. He's another one right there. There you go. But these men, um, I was blessed enough to have something that not a lot of young, like young black men in this world have, and that's role models, men that are role models, positive role models, that show me what it means to be a man and not just in this political world and certain things that we see today. They taught me what it means to, to hustle, to work hard, and you know they played the biggest part in getting me where I am today. Without these men, without the, the hard practices that they put me through, all the training that we've gone through, <laughs> he's smiling right now, you know, big fella, come on. You know, it's because of these guys that I'm able to stand up here today and accept this honor. And, you know, I want them to know that this honor isn't just for me, it's for us, all right? This jacket, this is our jacket. This ceremony, this, uh, this is ours. And without y'all, I wouldn't be here today. So thank you. Thank you. And with that being said, you can still watch the clips. I mean, I was pretty good. I did some good stuff. So, you know. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, no, I just want to take, like I say, just take the one last minute and just thank everybody else. And one thing I won't forget is my moms. All right? I talked about that and everybody else, but moms, I love you. You played a big part of this, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll never forget where I came from, where I was brought up. And that's something that I felt was most important to talk about today. You guys can look at the clips, look in all the record books and see what I've done. But this is something that they don't record. This is something that you can't just look up and learn about. So I want to take the time, this time, to spread that. And I want to thank all of the alumni as well, too, for the support and everything that you guys have done, from you guys to the basketball alums and everything else. Kimberly Sluice, always looking out for your boy. That's my girl. And so, uh, again, like, I just want to say thank you, Taylor, Armin, the medical staff, Heidi. Man, this is one last thing. I was, so the year we went to the final four, I actually had tendonitis both my, or tendonitis both my knees, plantar fasciitis both my feet, and I had a herniated disc in my back. And it was, it was brutal, it was rough. But they took care of me. They made sure that I was good. And I want to thank you guys as well, too, because... We need to get some more attention to them, too, because they keep us all healthy. Without them, you know, taking care of us, icing us up, stretching us out, teaching us these things. Like, so thank you all as well, too, okay? And um, so I'm not going to hold up too much time because I promised Mary that I'm going I'm to I'm stay within my time frame. So I don't know how far I am, but I will talk to you guys for days if you let me. <laughs> so, but, uh, but again, thank you all. Again, Jim, I appreciate it. Uh, and guys, thank you. It makes me smile. Everyone, uh, thank you. Congratulations, Landon. Our next inductee is Mary Kate Rowan Walsh, class of 2014. Mary Kate became the second CCIW champion in the history of North Central College women's golf program. She holds the Cardinals records for lowest scores for 18 and 36 holes and contributed to the team school records of 18, 36, and 54 holes, all while becoming the team's first four-time Women's Golf Coaches Association Academic Athletic All-American. It's my honor to induct Mary Kate to the Athletic Hall of Fame.
Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm a little nervous, so bear with me a little bit here. Um, it's an honor to be inducted into the North Central College Athletics Hall of Fame Class of 2022 and to be standing here in front of all of you. Congratulations to my fellow inductees. There is so much greatness in this room, and I'm so happy to be a part of it. A huge thank you to the selection committee and the athletics department led by Jim Miller for this recognition. I'm honored to represent the women's golf team in the Hall of Fame and join my teammate Alyssa, who was inducted a few years ago. It was really fitting that I was at a golf course when Jim called me to deliver the news. My family thinks because I work in the golf industry, all I do is golf every day, but I was working at the golf course at the time. I was visiting one of the properties I support in Wisconsin, and as Jim told me I was being inducted, I stood out on the patio overlooking the golf course. That is a moment I will never forget in addition to my induction today. From the moment I walked on campus here at North Central more than 10 years ago, I knew it was a special place that I could call home. I was being recruited by Coach Ty at the time, who I didn't see before, so I don't know where he's sitting, but he's around. There you are, I see you. So Coach Ty, when he was recruiting me in high school, would hide behind trees on the golf course because he didn't want to distract me or make me nervous, even though I was already nervous. Um, but that's always a running joke between us still to this day. While touring here at North Central, I received such a warm welcome from Coach, the admissions and athletics staff, and my future teammates. I had looked at several other colleges, and no place was quite like North Central. I wanted somewhere close to home because I'm very close to my family, a school that allowed me to challenge myself with my major, and a competitive golf team full of great people that I could be friends with forever. North Central fulfilled all of that for me and so much more. As a Division III student athlete, education was always my top priority, but I wanted to be able to compete at a high level as well. There are so many great memories from my time at North Central that it's hard to just name a few today. So I'll highlight a few of my favorites. I start with my freshman year. The dream team, as Ty called us, had the best season in the team's history, and we received an at-large bid to the national championship down in Florida. To have this experience as a freshman and to have my family there to share in that moment was incredible. That trip also kept me grounded in my education as Ty had to administer a final to me while at the tournament. I don't remember the subject, but I'm pretty sure I didn't like that one. <laughs> Along the way, during my time here, I was able to win a few tournaments and shoot my career best, which I have not been able to beat to this day, but as two of my uncles can attest that are here, I did tie it this summer. To travel, play some outstanding golf courses, and meet so many great people along the way were all very memorable experiences. My college golf career culminated in an individual conference championship win at Oak Brook Golf Club my senior year. That was a special tournament for so many reasons. It was my last conference championship. We played at a course I grew up playing, and my dad and my entire family were able to be there. So this part is hard for me, so please bear with me. For those who don't know, my dad passed away eight years ago from brain cancer, less than two months before graduation. Golf was something special that brought us together, and so I share in this achievement with him, and as my friend Mal said, he has the best seat in the house, even though he can't be here physically with us. That time in my life showed me that I had the best community behind me, and I thank my North Central family for supporting my family and I through that difficult period in our lives. Golf got me through that time and so many other hard ones and was and always has been the best way to honor my dad. I'm proud to say that my family and I have raised more than $75,000 for brain tumor research since he passed eight years ago. <laughs> North Central opened doors for me and helped shape my professional life as well as my personal life. I was fortunate to work in the athletics department in sports information and athletic administration. Today, I work in sales and marketing in the golf industry for a company called Kemper Sports, and to be around this game that I love every day is a dream, and I get to play occasionally as well. To all my teammates, especially those that are here today, thank you for the memories, laughs, and love that you showed me and continue to show me to this day. I'm a little or a lot competitive, and you helped fuel that competitiveness. Thank you for being here to support me. It means the world to me. I was also lucky to meet my now husband, David, while in coaching classes here. The running joke is that I lied about a school assignment I had already completed just so that he would talk to me. But here we are. Um, we celebrated just two years of marriage last weekend, and we'll be together for 10 years next year. <laughs> Thank you. 
While David was only able to see the last year of my competitive golf career here at North Central, he has always been the best cheerleader and partner through every challenge we have faced. We golf regularly together, as competitive as ever, and enjoy our time back on campus like today. I was lucky to have great swing coaches, including um, Tony Putzer, who I know is watching on the live stream during my collegiate career, and of course, Coach Ty, who all taught me so much more than playing the game. Thank you, Coach, for your unwavering support on and off the course. I know we had our ups and downs, and maybe a few three putts, if I remember correctly, along the way, but you've always been more than a coach to me. You will always be my family, and the lessons you instilled in me as a player are the lessons I carry with me in my daily life. So thank you. <laughs> to my family and friends, thank you for your endless support and encouragement that allowed me to get to this point. I am fortunate to have so many of you here today, and thank you for always cheering me on, no matter if I played well, played poorly, or everything in between. To my mom especially, who was there to see my first collegiate victory and for every tournament in every possible weather condition. I mean, we had a cover for the cart, a heater, multiple layers. It was sometimes terrible. But thank you for always pushing me to be my best and supporting my dreams. I couldn't have done this without you and Dad. It's always a great day to be a Cardinal, as Jared Bogan would say, and I'm certainly proud to be one for life. Thank you so much to North Central for this honor. Go Cards and beat Wheaton. Congratulations, Mary Kate. Next, I would like to introduce head women's track and field coach, Carrie Cluckholm. Carrie has been our head coach the past 20 years and has coached the team to 15 team conference championships, including the CCIW's first sweep of cross country, indoor and outdoor track, track and field titles in 2011. We greatly appreciate Carrie's commitment to supporting, mentoring, and advocating for our student athletes, which has brought so many of them back here today. It is my honor to induct Carrie Cluckhone into the Athletic Hall of Fame. My speech will be a little bit different since uh, there's too many memories to, to go through over 20 years of being here. But first of all, I just want to say it's really been a neat experience to be here today. We have several of our coaches and athletes from um, both the men's and women's teams that are in the Hall of Fame. And I, I honestly never thought that I would be, be with you all in this role. Um, it's pretty cool because Heidi and I are both from Wisconsin, 20 minutes apart. My cousin was in her high school class. It's really amazing to be able to be here with her. I had Landon in jogging class. When he said he couldn't run, we had to work on that a little bit. But <laughs> <laughs> And Dan, being a GA, I remember us packing tons of coaches' packets the night before the national championships. Um, and I remember being up in the stands with Mike Spain's dad as we were both nervous and excited for those 10Ks for Mike and Amanda. They were both All-American. It was just a great moment, but do you remember that, Dad? That was awesome. So, <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm just uh, really pleased and honored to be here. Um, it's hard to put into words um, what it's into words what one has dedica dedicated one's whole life to. Um, I've been in track and field for almost 40 years. Um, I used to race the boys at, at the playground. Um, I definitely never thought that girls should be second 
they should be equal or go after and beat them. And I beat a lot of them at that time. Now that wouldn't happen. But um, my dad always, you know, wanted me to go after anything that I could, what I could do. And I, they never held me back. So, um, but before um, I get into a few of the, the bigger thank yous, I first wanted to thank Jim and the selection committee for thinking I'm worthy of this honor. Um, being selected into the Hall of Fame here at NCC is not like most places. Um, sometimes it's hard to realize how well your team is actually doing um, when you're surrounded by so much, so much success of so many programs. So I was really surprised um, when he informed me that I was being inducted. Um, I'd also like to extend a sincere, a sincere thank you to Clark, Nick, and the sports Inf information team for all the work that they put in every year um, for this event and to, to document the history of NCC athletics. It's a very big responsibility, so thank you. And thank you to Mary and the alumni office for organizing and creating such a memorable event in all of our lives. For years, you've put, on, put in the time to ensure each Hall of Famer feels special on this day, and we're so thankful for you. I'd also like to thank Steve Waltman for capturing important memories of our athletes and coaches, some good pictures, some not, um, in real time over the years. Um, your photos bring back feelings of excitement and accomplishment to every athlete that it's captured. Um, it's also difficult to accept an award as a head coach, as we all know what it takes. It takes a whole team that invests in a common experience to make the journey matter. To every coach who has willingly mentored, coached, challenged our women over the past 20 years to be their best, I cannot show enough gratitude. I'm blessed to have you by my side, or I've had you by my side. You are, um, without you, we would not be us. I strive to support you in every possible way so you can thrive here and enjoy coaching at NCC. To all of our athletic trainers over the years, and in particular to Taylor Arman, for your support over the decade with our team as an athletic trainer and currently in her role as our faculty mentor and my friend, thank you for all you do. I don't know where she is, but you are invaluable. Thank you to Eileen McBrien, our office administrative assistant who keeps the wheels turning for all of us. We would not be able to thrive without you. And to Henry Tran and his custodial staff, you are the behind the scenes magic that makes Cardinal Athletics shine. We all know we wouldn't shine without you. Thank you, our college is better because of all of you. And I know those, some of those people aren't here, but I think it's really important to take a moment to, to be able to recognize people who don't normally get recognized for all that they do for North Central and for all of us to have the experience as student athletes, faculty, staff, and coaches. So let's give them a round of applause. I remember the day that James and I jumped in the U-Haul to move to Texas for our first coaching job as we left our alma mater at UW Lacrosse after grad school. I can still see both of our parents, who are all here right now, in my mind as we gave them our last hugs and drove away. We moved to Texas Lutheran to start a women's team from scratch. For James, sight unseen, it was a great adventure and a great beginning for us. Then off to North Park University, a fellow conference school, coaching one more time, side by side, really building a men's and women's team together. James, I'm not sure where you are, but you have always supported me as I've su pursued my professional dreams. God blessed us with four years of coaching together and now eight years working together at North Central. Our kids have grown up on these tracks, and now one of our sons wears a striped jersey today in Michigan as well, so he's not here. Um, you deserve to be recognized for the true value you bring to everyone you work with and for the role model you are to our boys. I love you very much. I want to thank Mahesh for sticking together through thick and thin through that first year of recruiting the crap out of Illinois. We went crazy that year. Um, so we could build upon the tradition that was set by Marcy. You've been here for me when I've missed the exit and the first day of work here to Naperville, to the dark days when we lost our infant son in the middle of the season. He kept the ship moving forward. Sorry. <laughs> You've always been loyal to NCC, this program, and both our families. You've given so much of yourself so others could be successful. From your days as a student coach for the men's program to this very day, and thank you isn't enough. He's at a meet right now, but hopefully he'll see that later. <laughs> so um, thank you to my parents who are here today, with my sister, my niece and nephew, and my in-laws as they always supported anything we three kids have ever wanted to do through middle school and high school. 
never missing any of our sporting or musical events, making sure we had every opportunity possible. You sacrificed for us so we could chase our dreams. I know how hard it has been for you to see us leave our small town and head out into the world, but you never held us back. We love you so much. I'm gonna be a ball baby on you guys. <laughs> of course, I don't have a Kleenex on me. Uh, so coaching is very rewarding, but it has not been an easy path. Over my 25 years as a head track and field coach, I've seen so many women leave the profession. It's tough as a mom, oftentimes not being home after school to hear about my kid's day, missing concerts, games, meets, helping with homework while I'm recruiting, meeting with athletes, or actually at a meet. It was challenging to be at a track meet with an infant just seven days old, bringing kids to meets and overnights, which were honestly some of my favorite memories, having them there. Um, to our boys, Jacob, Nathaniel, Nathaniel, and Ben, you have had lots of grilled cheese, pancakes, and quesadillas that they usually make themselves. You've shaked tons of implements, set up hurdles, counted laps. I know it was tough being a coach's kid, but both your parents coached at different colleges, sometimes giving up hanging out with your friends because we didn't have a sitter. Thank you for sharing me with my team. I know your sacrifice and I'm blessed. You value me as your mom. Sorry. I love you more than I could ever describe. And I'm so very proud of each of you for the people you are. And a couple of our women that are in the Hall of Fame told me the guys would cry more than me, but that has not happened yet. So, <laughs> thanks, you guys. So. Um, anyway, I'm getting close here. So, I was interviewed this summer for a research study on why I, as a female with children, have stayed in this profession, with all of its challenges long term. I've realized more and more over the years how important it is for women to see people like them in leadership roles. I've also come to realize how vital it is not just for women to see this, but equally important for males to view women as capable of leading. It is tough in many professions for women's voices to be heard, and valued equally, and I feel it has been my calling to be a mentor for young women to see how to navigate these hurdles and the challenges of being a female professional and a mother. So why do I coach? Team, you guys are the reason. To our team, you're a part of this legacy and this family, and be proud of that. Carry on this tradition. Never apologize for wanting to be excellent. See the bigger picture of how you impact others, not just now, but in your lifetime. You are the new generation of difference makers and you are an unstoppable force. Know your worth and know you are valued. The world needs you to lead now more than ever. To our alumni, you know what we're all about. Enter as teammates, leave as family. I'm so proud of how you each inspire and strive to make a difference. Don't ever let anyone dampen your belief in yourself. You are all incre incredible women that matter. My true reward and point of pride as your coach is seeing you be amazing women, mothers, partners, professionals, and contributors. Take care of you. Find a loyal group of women to have as friends through life. You need this in every season. Know you can always come home to NCC for support. You've all given me so many unfor unforgettable memories, from singing in Club MB, to the Ugly Sweater Party, to putting together killer workouts, and to coming together at teams in really important moments. Every year, I know how much it means for women and families to commit, their, to commit to gain their education at North Central and compete for our program. Families sacrifice for this. I've never taken that for granted and have always deeply felt it is my responsibility to provide the best possible experience for every young woman that chooses to commit to this family. These women are my family. It is a privilege and a blessing to coach you to help you discover your power, your possibility, and your path. I have been blessed to have had a front seat, a front row seat to watch our women discover who they are, stretch out of their comfort zones, and bring their sleigh game day after day, year after year. <laughs> and I got the bracelet on, Lindsay, right here. <laughs> I'm so proud to be your coach. Thank you. Congratulations, Carrie. Thank you.
Next, we'll recognize the career of our special inductee for athletic training, Heidi Matthews. Under Heidi's leadership, North Central Athletic Training Program became the first in the Chicagoland area to gain national accreditation. And Heidi was named the inaugural dean of the College School of Health and Sciences in 2016. The athletic training facility in Myrna Fieldhouse was named for Heidi in 2018 as a testament to her unwavering commitments to athletic training students and student athletes. It's my honor to induct Heidi Matthews into the Athletic Hall of Fame. Well, I am very proud to be the closer for this group, um, and it is a great day to be a Cardinal. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I want to begin by thanking the committee, the athletic department, and North Central College for this special recognition. And it is made even more special as it falls during the year-long celebration of the 50th anniversary of Title IX. I was a freshman in high school when Title IX was enacted. We did not have organized teams for girls until my junior year. I had no idea what an athletic trainer was at that time. The opportunities we have today for equity and participation are due to the dreams and work of many people over the years. We need to continue forward in our quest for equality, fairness, access, respect, and inclusion for all. My love for the profession of athletic training began the first time I heard of it in an introduction to physical therapy course during my first year in college. The profession has been my passion for over 40 years. I came to North Central College in 1993 as a head athletic trainer. I was also charged with gaining accreditation of the athletic training education program. Over the years, the athletic training clinical staff and facilities grew. The athletic training education program gained initial accreditation and has continued to be accredited since then. Today it is an entry-level master's program. This progress would not have been possible without the joint effort of athletics and academics. Although I have worn many hats throughout my career at North Central College, the consistent thread through every role I had was the importance of athletics in our institution. I have always embraced the essential role both academics and athletics play in the life of the student athlete. I am most proud of the athletic training family we have built over the years. It was important to me to develop a family atmosphere both for the athletic training students and the student athletes, one where everyone felt accepted, welcomed, and supported. Today I celebrate this recognition with my athletic training family and thank the alumni for their continued support of their program. I was fortunate to study under mentors who modeled a passion for athletic training. They set me on a pathway of encouraging the personal and professional growth of each student. My parents instilled in me a love of learning, a passion for mentoring, a strong work ethic, and the attitude that nothing is impossible. They would be very proud today. Thank you to my family and friends for being a constant presence and support in my life. And thank you to Susan for sharing this incredible journey with me. No one achieves anything on their own. Sue Bird recently said, every award is a team award, regardless of whose name is on it. I am fortunate to have had a great team throughout my career. 
I want to thank the college leadership team, administration, staff, and faculty who supported the athletic training program and its mission over the years. Thank you to all the athletic training and athletic staff I've had the honor to work with. Kendall Selsky joined me early in the quest to build a clinical program for student athletes and an education program for athletic training students. I could not have done this work without you. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you to Brittany James and Taylor Armand who embraced our vision as students and continue to build on it today. I met Dr. Ken Sanders during my initial interview. I recognized then how much he loved North Central College and his role in caring for our student athletes. He has been a staunch supporter of athletic trainers and impactful mentor for athletic training students. He was right beside me all the way. Thank you. Over the years, the athletic training students created an annual t-shirt. Each version carried a message. I am fortunate to view many of these messages daily as a quilt was made out of the t-shirts for my retirement. One year the message was, top 10 reasons to be an athletic training student. I echo the top three today. Number three, best seats in the house. <laughs> Number two, we get to be a part of every team. And number one, because we care. Thank you again for this tremendous honor. As the song says, North Central is the school we love. Congratulations, Heidi. Let me once again offer my congratulations to our inductees. You're amongst the best of the best, and you have made a lasting impact on North Central College. You represent the best of the principles of discipline, effort, and teamwork, and continue to instill this in Cardinal student athletes today. We hope you enjoy this day as much as we've enjoyed watching you succeed in competition, and these accolades secure your place in history. We look forward to seeing your influence inspire student athletes here for years to come. Thank you for your attendance and, and have a great day on campus today and um, go Cardinals. Get the bell. Okay.